And so this is what I recommend. I recommend something that I call the getting them out of the vicious circle. My, my all time favorite dad joke goes like this. What is this? It's a vicious circle. Thank you, I, I know I'm here all week. Um, and so we, we, we get into this vicious circle when we have this conflict and, and here's how it goes. When my kids are having a conflict, I pull them to the table, well not physically pull them, but I invite them to the table, I pull out a pen and paper, I sit the kids down and I draw four boxes, one at a time. On the top of the paper, I write the words, she did. Now I have six daughters, so it's always she, it's never he, but you, depending on who you're asking the questions to, you'll, you'll modify it accordingly. She did. And I say to one of the kids, okay, what did she do to you? And before she even starts answering the other one, I say, oh, but dad, you, you've got to ask me, you've got to ask me. Oh, it's okay, I'll get to you in a minute. I just want to ask her, what did, what did she do? And, and, and so this one will start to tell me all the stuff that this one did. She'll say, she called me a name, she pinched me, she scratched me, she took my book off me, she said she was gonna dob on me, whatever it is. She did all this stuff. And we write it down inside the box. She did. And then I drop down and to the right, and I do another box. And in that box, I write, I felt. And I ask this child, how did you feel when she did all those things to you, when she boom, 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 and I read the list back. And this is an important question to get an answer to in the presence of the other sibling because the other sibling then gets to have a sense of empathy for how they made their sister or brother feel. And so my daughter will say, well, I felt angry, I felt upset, I felt... In fact, the best answer I ever got from my seven-year-old was, I felt vengeful. Isn't that a big word for a seven-year-old? I felt vengeful. So we're creating this emotional vocabulary for our child and, and giving the other, the other one a sense of empathy. At the bottom, I do another box and I say, so what did you do? She did, I felt, I did. And this is where the moment of truth comes in. I get them out of bed, out of blame, excuse and denial and using their awe, taking ownership, being accountable and responsible. And so they have to own up to all the stuff that they did. And it's hard for them and they say, I called them a name, I pushed them, and then they own up to the contribution that they made to the conflict that's gone on. And then I move back up to the left, in the middle again, and I do one more box. And then I ask this very important question. She felt, how did your sister feel when you did that to her? Now at this point, the one that I'm asking will be like, it doesn't matter how she felt, she did that stuff to me, and that's, you know, I was justified. And I said, no, 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 we're not worried about who's justified right now. How did she feel when you did those things? And there's this wonderful perspective taking moment where the child that I'm talking to has to sit there and explain the feelings of her sister. And once I've written down, you know, she felt sad, she felt this, she felt that, they, they come up with the words that they felt. I say to the one who's been listening, does this seem about right to you? Is that how you felt when she did that? And there'll usually be a sort of a humble nod. And I'll say, okay. Now then we draw an arrow in between each in between each of these boxes and I ask three questions. I say, when you look at this picture with these arrows, who started this conflict? The children will invariably still point at each other and they'll say, she started, no, she started. And I say, you know, it doesn't actually matter because that question doesn't matter. It's just to get them thinking and getting, getting them looking at the diagram to see if they can be honest. And usually at this point they still can't because they're a bit emotional. But then I ask them the second question and the second one's really, really important. Not so much who started it is what counts, it's who's contributing to it. Have a look at the, the, the vicious circle that we've created and tell me who's contributing to it. And this is a wonderful moment of truth as they recognize that they've both contributed to it in one way or another, regardless of who started it, they've both contributed to it. And then the third and final question, so important, who is responsible for fixing it? And at that point, the correct answer is not we are, the correct answer is, I am. Again, this is about taking personal responsibility. And so I'll empower my kids. I'll say to them, well, how do you think you could fix it? And they usually acknowledge that they need to apologize. They need to go and fix whatever was broken. They may need to pay some money out of their pocket money to replace whatever it was that was destroyed. And we come up with a solution that works. I teach them how to apologize properly. I'm sorry, I did this. Clearly state what it was. It made you feel like this. This was the outcome of what I did. Will you forgive me? That's so important because too often we say, I'm sorry, and the other person says, it's okay. And sometimes it's not. 
And so they need to be really clear about what they're sorry for and how it impacted on their sibling and then ask for forgiveness. Because as they say, will you forgive me? That's where we really see the restoration of the relationship.